In my last video, I did a demonstration of high pass and low pass filters of analog input signals. And so in this video, uh, it's going to be similar, but this is going to be a demonstration of band pass and band reject filters. And I'm going to be using um, RLC circuits in series. So that's a, a resistor, inductor, and capacitors in series. And um, so what makes these band pass and band rejects filters possible is a property known as resonance. Okay, so this occurs when an inductor and a capacitor are used together in an LC circuit, and it's where the reactance of the inductor and the reactance of the capacitor are equal. So they, they cancel out each other. So um, recall in the last video, the reactance is basically the, the resistance to flow in an AC circuit, uh, similar to resistance measured in ohms. Okay, so um, we'll be using the capacitor and an inductor in series to create band pass and band reject filters. So recall from the last video, um, reactance is the resistance to current flow in an AC circuit, and we define the reactance of a capacitor as 1 over 2 pi times the frequency times the capacitance. And so obviously this is going to be um, varied with the frequency. It's an inverse relationship. And for uh, an inductor also has reactance. And it's a similar formula, but it's a direct relationship with the frequency. Okay, so it's 2 pi times the frequency times the inductance in Henry's. And then the uh, the reactance is in ohms. Okay, so then the net reactance for a uh, uh, AC circuit with a inductor and capacitor in series is going to be the reactance of the capacitor minus the reactance of the inductor. Okay, so the net reactance of a circuit, uh, an LC circuit in series, is going to be the reactance of the capacitor minus the reactance of the inductor. Okay, so if we want the net um, reactance to be at its minimum at zero, uh, in that case, that'll be the case where the reactance of the capacitor equals the reactance of the inductor. Okay, so then for that for that equation, recall the reactance of the capacitor, it's 1 over 2 pi frequency times the capacitance, so that's going to be equal to 2 pi times the frequency times the inductance. And then if you solve this equa equation for frequency, you're going to get frequency equals 1 over 2 pi times the square root of LC, and this frequency is the resonant frequency, okay, so that's when the the uh, the reactance of the capacitor and the reactance of the inductor are equal. And the resonant frequency is the frequency where you're going to get either the maximum output of, of a voltage divider in an RLC circuit or the minimum voltage output of an RLC circuit, uh, depending on um, if the resistor comes first in the series or if the uh, inductor and capacitor come first in the series. And then the overall impedance of that circuit is going to be the RLC circuit. It's going to be the square root of the resistor squared, resistance squared, plus the, uh, the net reactance squared. So when the, the net reactance is zero, the impedance is just equal to R. Okay, so this circuit, you're going to have Vn. Okay, and you're going to have a capacitor and an inductor. This will be, that would be V out of the voltage divider. And then you're going to have a resistor here going to ground. Okay, so in this configuration where you have the, uh, the resistor going to ground and the voltage being split, um, with the capacitor and inductor coming first uh, with respect to Vn, this is going to be a bandpass filter. Okay, so then the opposite is going to be true 
if you have the resistor first. Okay, let's be out. And then you have the capacitor and inductor going to ground. And this is gonna be a band reject filter. Okay, so a band pass filter, you're basically gonna have frequency on the horizontal axis, V out on the vertical axis, and then you're going to get a band of frequencies where at the maximum is going to be F R, the resonant frequency, and then for a band reject filter, Gonna be kind of the opposite. It's gonna kind of look like the bandpass filter, but upside down. Okay, so it's gonna reject this band of frequencies, and the f f of r will be here at the minimum. Okay, so I have this circuit set up as a as a bandpass filter. Okay, and so this is a uh, 100 microhenry inductor connected to the VN power rail and then that's connected in series to this one nanofarad capacitor okay and then that's connected in series to this 100 ohm resistor which goes to ground so these pins between this resistor and capacitor that's going to be V out and that's where we're going to measure the voltage output on an oscilloscope and just verify that at the resonant frequency that's where we're going to get the highest output voltage. It should be close to the input voltage. And I calculated the resonant frequency for this circuit, and it should be right about 503 kilohertz. Okay, so we're going to power this circuit with this function generator, and it's going to input sine waves at different frequencies. And uh, then we're going to measure on this oscilloscope uh, the output. Okay, so I have this uh, circuit hooked up to the oscilloscope and the function generator, and right now I have the function generator set at uh, 503 kilohertz. So that was about the um, the value for the resonant frequency that I calculated. So if you look at the oscilloscope, channel one is the input voltage, peak to peak, and it's at 7.2 volts, and you can see it's reading uh, the same frequency, uh, 503 kilohertz. And then uh, V out is in channel two, and that's reading 5.5 volts peak to peak. So this should be at the maximum. Uh, uh, the voltage out is at the maximum right now at the resonant frequency. So I'm going to drop the uh, the input frequency down to say 400. Hey, 400 kilohertz. Let's see. Okay, so you can see immediately that uh, channel 2 drops now to like 4.3 volts. That's the, the bottom line um, relative to the input. And then if I go down to, say, 200 kilohertz. Okay, so it drops even farther. So now we're all the way down to 1.6 kilohertz. Okay, so I'm going to jump back up to 502 kilohertz and then go the other way. Okay, so we're, we're about at the maximum now. So now if I go to, uh, let's say, 600 kilohertz, and you can see channel 2 starts dropping again, so it's at 4.9 volts. And then, say, if I go to uh, 700 kilohertz, and it drops again to 3.9, say, 800 kilohertz. And then it continues to drop to, to 3.2 volts. So you, so in this bandpass filter, it's going to allow the the resonant frequency band to pass while um, attenuating um, higher and lower frequencies. Okay, so now I have the circuit set up for the um, uh, band reject filter. So basically, just swap the place of the resistor with the uh, the LC portion of the circuit. And I'm at 502 kilohertz. So if you look at the oscilloscope, channel one again is the input um, input voltage, and right now it's reading seven volts peak to peak. 
and the output output voltage is reading at uh, 2.08 volts peak to peak. So since this is a band reject filter, we're at the resonant frequency. So this is where the V out is going to be at its minimum. Okay. So then as we go um, to the left of, or if we go lower than 502 kilohertz, we'll get larger values for V out. And uh, if we go higher than uh, 502 kilohertz, we'll also go uh, uh, increase the V out voltage. Okay. So um, I'm going to go to go to the left side. So I'm going to go to 400 kilohertz. Okay. So you see channel two, the voltage jumps up to, uh, to 6.5 volts. And then if I go to 300 kilohertz and it jumps again up to eight volts peak to peak. Okay. So then if I go back to 502 kilohertz, okay, that's back where we started. Now we're going to go to the right side. So I'm going to go to 600 kilovolts, excuse me, kilohertz. And you see channel two voltage uh, output increases. Okay, so if I go to 700 kilohertz, and and it increases again. So, so this is the the band reject filter, <clears throat> and it's going to uh, reject bands at the resonant frequency. So that's where V out is going to be lowest. Uh, that's where it's going to be at the minimum. So anyway, this was a, just a basic uh, demo on uh, band pass and band reject filters. Thank you for watching the video.